Okay, so today we're going to be looking at uh, scale factor. Now we're, today we're going to be doing what's l it's called linear scale factor. Uh, Monday we're going to do area and, and then volume on Tuesday. Okay, so let's just, they don't have the measurements on here. This is uh, 2 centimeters by 3 centimeters. Let's just write these on. And then the, this is 6 centimeters and this is 4 centimeters. This is 3 centimeters. And this is 4.5 centimeters. This is 1 centimeter and this is 1.5 centimeters. Now, what we're talking about today is scale factors. Now, what would be the scale factor from going from A to B? What do you think is the scale factor? It's what we multiply by to get. So what would you do to A to get B? Like, what do you do to this side to get this side? What would you have to do? Times it by 2. Now, this would be called a scale factor of 2. Because you see how 3 turns into 6, 2 turns into 4? Okay? So, we write this of length of B over length. So, this is called rectangle. This isn't actually fill in the blanks. Length of rectangle B is 6 over 3. So, it's 2 to 1. Now, the width would be 4 of 2, which is 2. Now, this is called the scale factor. And we always put the original on the bottom and the new on the top. So, original is always on the bottom. And when the scale factor is bigger than 1, we call that an enlargement. Okay, this would be an enlargement. Now, we did that one. Let's do C. So, C is we go from A to D. So, what do you have to multiply to go from A to D? So this is my original, and then I'm coming to here. What do I have to multiply by? Do I multiply by 2 to get from here to here? What do I multiply by? Like this here, we got a 2 and it goes down to a 1. What, what, what do we multiply by? 0.5. Yeah. And if you do the math, we're going to. Okay, so... The length is 1.5 of D, and the length of A was 3. And 1.5 divided by 3 is 1 half. Now, the width was 1 centimeter, and the width of the original was 2. So, that's also, obviously, 1 half. Now, again, this is always the original. Okay? Now, when the scale factor is less than 1, so if it's greater than 1, we call that an enlargement. If it's less than 1, we call that a reduction. Okay, but always make sure we're putting the original on the bottom. Okay, we don't need to fill all that in. So just the linear scale factor of A was 2 to 1, or 2, or 200%. Now, how do we take something and, multi and get it 2%? We take our scale factor 
scale factor and multiply by 100 percent. Okay? So if we go, let's do the last one. The, the scale factor from D to A is 1 to 2 or 0 0.5 or 50% because we took 0 0.5 times 100 equals 50%. So if it's less than 100, that means it's a reduction. So greater than 100, that's enlargement. Ooh, I guess right here, scale factor. If it's greater than 1 or 100 percent and if it's between 0 and 1 between 0 and 100 so between 0 and 99 we'll say it describes a reduction okay so if this is let's call this two centimeters and this is four centimeters F to go from B to A what would be the scale factor? B is the original so we go from B to A so let's just write to go from B to A then we put B in the bottom A on the top because we started with B so that would be 2 centimeter, or we just put 2 over 4, which equals 1 half. Now, how about if we go from A to B? Now, remember, the original is always on the bottom. So that would be 4 over 2, which equals 2. Okay, does everybody see how we get our, this is called our scale factor. Our scale factor. So if we multiply by a half, it should be getting smaller or reducing. If we multiply by two, it's going to get bigger. Okay. So we're not going to fill in all that bottom stuff. It's too much writing. Now, perimeter from B to A. So B or of B from A. So if it says from A, this becomes the original. That's sometimes how they will, it, we're coming from A. So perimeter scale factor of B from A. So A, the circumference was 4 pi. In B, the circumference was 8 pi. Therefore, our perimeter will be 2. Okay, so let's just go and complete this chart. So if we have a 3 by 5 triangle, triangle, 3 by 5 rectangle, that means the perimeter, remember perimeter is going 2 times 3 plus 2 times 5. So that's 6 plus 10 is 16. That's how we get our, if the scale factor is 2, then our new dimensions you see how if we multiply by 2, 3 becomes 6 and 5 becomes 10. What else do we notice? If the original perimeter is 16, the new perimeter is times 2 as well. Okay, and then we can show the new perimeter over the original is 2 to 1 which is 2. So that's our 200%. Okay, now I don't want to go in, but just remember that your perimeter scale factor equals your linear scale factor. Okay, so let's do some 
Just a couple questions here. Let's start example one. Now, what we want to know is determine the scale factor that will transform diagram P to diagram Q. Okay? So diagram P, we're going to Q. So this is our original. This will be our new or our after. Now, let's do B first because people do find B easier. Now, how are we supposed to find the scale factor? So what I do is I find one side. And do you see how this side is one, two, three, four units? This one is three units. Now, how would you write this as a ratio? Four to three? What always goes on the bottom? Original. So it would be three to four, wouldn't it? Remember, originals always on the bottom. Now, is three quarters, is it less than one? What is three quarters? That's 0 0.75, right? What would that be in percent? 75%. So does it make sense that it got smaller? Right? Because if it's greater than 100, it should have got bigger. So how would you write this as a ratio? Ratio is number dot dot number. Very good. 3 dot dot 4. Because this number's first, this number's first. Right? So I find students find this the easiest to set up. And just make sure, because these two mean the same thing. 3, 2, 4, 3, 2, 4. Right? This means 2. Just like this means 2. So as a percent, that would be, it's a 75%. So this would be a 75%, what we call it what? What's the word? Reduction. Very good got smaller. So I always go, it's N over O. No. Okay, that's new over original. I always do little things like this so I don't forget. Just no. Okay? So if you don't understand, just say no. Or if I'm confused, I'm getting mixed up. No. New over original. Okay? And then, therefore, it's new dot dot original. New over original. Because being second is just like having it beneath. Okay? So now, Sarah increased the length and width of a rectangle, an eight, a rectangular 8 by 12 photograph, by a factor of 5 to 2. So would this be the original or the new? This is the original. She increased the length of this. So this would be the original. Okay, so how are we supposed to do this one? So do you think that this would be a enlargement or a reduction? Enlargement, because this is the same thing as 5 over 2, isn't it? And what's 5 over 2? 2.5. Try it in your calculator. 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. So this would be an enlargement because it's larger than 1. What percent is this? This is a 250% enlargement. So how do we find out my new dimensions? What would be my new dimensions? What are 
would we do? What would you guys do? How would you find the new dimensions? What'd you get? Okay, and what'd you get for your first dimension? Okay, that would be the 10, right? Yep, so you have to go 8 times 5 over 2, or like we did, 8 times 2.5. And what do you get? Twenty. And does everybody know what these two little things mean? That means inches. Those little dudes right here. That means inches. And then we take ten and multiply by five over two, or ten times two point five, and that's how we get our twenty five inches. Okay, so now we have our new perimeter over original perimeter. Now what is our original perimeter? What is the perimeter of that rectangle? How do you find perimeter? Okay, so 2 times 8 plus 2 times 10. That's 16 plus 20 equals 36 is the original perimeter. So how would you find the new perimeter? How do we find the new perimeter? Well, I'll just tell me, what would I do? What would I multiply 36 by? Yeah, just multiply by 2.5. And what do you get? What do we get? 90 inches. Okay. Now, there's another way we could have done it, because look, these are our two new dimensions. I could have gone, or we could have gone 2 times 20 plus 2 times 25, right? Because these are our new picture. So 2 times 20, that's 40 inches plus 50 inches, which equals 90 inches. Okay, so we want to be working on 1 to 10, and we're just going to omit 9. 